You're saying when the ball is slow, you make more mistakes. Yeah. Yes, it's normal. It's very normal. The reason why you make more mistakes when the ball is slow, there are several reasons actually. Number one, if you have problems in your technique, such as not enough body involvement, you're going to have issues obviously when the ball is slow because you have to generate more power by yourself without the help of the incoming ball. You have to use your body, otherwise yeah. it's going to be a stroke that's dominated by the arm and you're going to get problems. But also, what happens to a lot of people when the ball is fast, they play more with instinct. They play actually more intuitive tennis, if you will, when the ball is fast and then when there's more time to think, often that more time results in them overthinking the shot and messing it up True. for that reason. And thirdly, and this is what I see a lot at the lower recreational levels, is that players will associate a fastball with a sense of urgency. So with a fastball, they will work really hard, they'll move their feet, they'll be under a lot of intensity. When the ball comes slower, they will become more nonchalant because they associate the slowness of the ball with it being an easier ball. And that is often not necessarily true. true. So they will lose intensity, they will play slower balls, more nonchalant, with less footwork, less setup. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, they're often forced uh, to improvise. So at the rec level, slow balls are very tricky. Yeah, that's why before I used to slow the record speed a little bit and I'll make the mistakes. Oh yeah. Now at least I'm not slowing down and try to put a little more top spin just to control better. One thing that you can keep in mind, that's something super easy to remember, when the ball is slow, and that's why a lot of people lose to pushers, is that you have to increase the, the speed of your racket. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you have technical deficiencies, the faster you swing the racket, the more likelihood there is that you're going to miss. So you have to really work hard to clean up your technique or you're going to always going to struggle with slow balls. And also, I, 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 have, I felt that. When that was a slow ball, I was, I was waiting too much yeah. instead of moving forward, you know, through the shot a little bit. That's true too. It gets a little complex because yeah. what happens a lot of times is when the ball is high and slow, and if you wait for that ball to drop too low, and if the ball is coming through the court with a little bit of penetration, you end up being in a disadvantageous position on the court, you're too far back. And then you're kind of forced to moon ball the ball back in play, and you often will also hit it off your back foot. So. What you see at the high level is that those type of balls get taken higher. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. players are not necessarily retrieving and backing up. So they either take it on the, on, the, on the way up before it hits the apex or they take it slightly below the apex, but they take it higher. Mm -hmm. And at the rec level, players are often uncomfortable uh, taking the ball higher. They learn to take it around the waist and they have a general discomfort with taking the ball higher. So that's something that you, you do have to practice a lot. I, I worked, you know, I was working a lot on that, like getting on the rise, because... Yeah. And then also, one of the players trying to take the ball so high, I was getting on a swing volley, and they would stop. Swing volley, okay. Well, if you're fast enough and have good enough timing, uh, swing volley is a good, is a good choice. Uh -huh. um, but just keep in mind, even with the swing volley, you have to be in the right position. Oh, to yeah. hit him and you have to be yeah. kind of quick on the ball For sure. and since you're quick you can get away with it because you a lot of times when people decide to take a swing volley they either take it too high above their head or they let it drop too low mm -hmm. around yeah. their waist and now it's going to be very tricky to put the swing volley away but yeah this is something that a lot of people struggle with but the solution is you clean up your technique and uh -huh. and don't be afraid to play these type of guys so you get a lot of practice with high shots oh, yeah all right now we go side to side here we go <laughs> 